Okay, so this is part three um, of building the groove mount um, module. So for this we've got our lower part, which has had the four holes drilled out to 2.8 millimetres. Our hot end heat sink attached um, with the brass inserts and the M3x20s. Um, we also have our drilled piezo disc, and you can see the video on how to drill the piezo disc. Um, and we've got four uh, M3 by 16 and countersunk, and that's quite important, um, countersunk head um, screws. So what we tend to do with this one is to um, take the top part, um, which is in two parts with the groove mount, make sure your two location dots are essentially aligned, line them up so that the two parts are together, um, arrange the location dots towards the front and the front is where the PCB will be attached here although you know you can locate your PCB elsewhere um, but essentially that's the front of the module it's not entirely um, symmetrical there's a little bit less distance this side than there is this side so it's important they get aligned that way and then what I tend to do is hold them all in alignment take my first uh, M3 by 16 and just hand thread it so that it's relatively straight um, into each of the four corner holes. Um, so we've got our four uh, four screws here. This one's slightly tight. Yeah, there's just a little bit of plastic in the hole there. Okay. Yeah, that one's just slightly tight, so I'm just going to use the screwdriver there. So effectively, just put a couple of turns on here. Just make sure all four of them. Um, fit in and they're all relatively straight and none of them are particularly tight. I mean if you print both of these parts at the same time you shouldn't really have any uh, big problems like that. So essentially what we're going to do is we're just going to tighten tighten them up. Not all the way, you know, just put a few turns in so that they're all fairly straight and they're all attached. Um, this just kind of holds it all together. going to put a few turns in here, like so. And now we've got the uh, the parts here, and you can see that the upper part can kind of slide up and down, and it doesn't need to be very, very free, because it's only going to move 0 0.2 of a millimetre at the most when the module is pushed down onto the build plate, but it needs to be able to sort of slide like this. What I tend to do then is to take my piezo disc, um, it's also worth getting a short piece of um, Bowden tube or a little, you know, three millimeter uh, rod or something like that, you know, which you can push through um, so that you can line everything up. So I put the rod in the top part, take my piezo disc. Now the piezo disc needs to be aligned so that the ceramic is facing downwards. Um, and that the little solder pad here, especially for the positive lead, is going to sit within the groove in the top um, of the bottom part. So we insert the piezo disc, and then if we just go around to the other side, what we can do here is just sort of push the rod down through and just take a look so that we can line up the piezo disc. To be very careful with the leads, they're quite delicate, but essentially get the piezo disc lined up, put the rod through. Yeah, okay, so yeah, this is the fiddly part, obviously. Um, so we'll just drop it in here. That's it there. Right, get the rod through, and you can see if you turn it round that the rod has gone all the way through the piezo disc, and the upper part and the lower part. Now at this point you can kind of push the upper part and lower part together and you'll feel there's a little bit of spring, which essentially is the lower part pushing into the into the piezo disc. Now at the moment the solder pads aren't lined up, so I'll just loosen the tension, but because I have the rod here the piezo disc isn't going to sort of disappear. I'm just going to make sure the solder pad is in the groove and then pull it back together. What we then do is essentially tighten up all of the four corner screws. Now I have been thinking of making a little jig to put between them so that you can get the 
extension on all four corners even but essentially it's fairly easy just to do it by eye so what we'll go we're get slippery there so essentially we're just going to tighten all four of the screws at this point there isn't really much preload so we're just tightening them so that they're all sort of basically tightened down and then we're just going to look around the module and just sort of feel at the corners to see which ones are looser so at the moment these two front ones are fairly loose so we're going to put a few more turns on those and again just go round and have a look to see if any are particularly loose um, so there's a little bit of movement there all we're going to do is just to lightly tighten maybe a half a turn or so on each of the corners and then again have a look at the module and see if it's sort of reasonably uh, level you know grab hold of the groove mount and wobble the hot end make sure that you know it's not going to be wobbly in use um, once you've done that essentially you've got the um, piezo disc mounted in in the module